Hi, this is Jane at Coburn's. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so excited because this weekend is the fishing opener for the state of Minnesota. And to me, that just screams the kickoff to summer. It means people are opening up their cabins, they're going camping, and they're just getting together with family and friends and having so much fun. So what I thought I would do is show you some simple, easy recipes to prepare walleye, because I know you're gonna catch some walleye. So let's get started. The first thing I did is I cut up some fresh veggies, fresh asparagus, I did the wedge of the onion, I did some red peppers, and I cut up some zucchini. So what I'm gonna do is just put this in a large bowl. And then what I'm gonna add is a couple teaspoons of oil. Now the oil that I'm using is Smoothie Sunflower Oil. The reason I use it, not only is it healthy, but I'll tell you what, it has got the richest buttery flavor and I absolutely love it. It's the only thing I use in my house. And the best part is, it's made right here in Piers, Minnesota. So I put just a couple tablespoons in. And then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of our Four Brothers Montreal seasoning. And all I'm gonna do is mix this up and get everything coated. And now the next thing I'm gonna do is just put it in a glass dish. And just spread it out. Now I have my fresh walleye, so what I'm going to do is put it in a bowl and I am going to add just a little bit of the sunflower oil again and make sure it gets all over the fish. And then I'm gonna add just a little bit again of the Four Brothers Montreal seasoning. And again, I'm gonna mix that up so that it gets seasoned on both sides. And if it doesn't, just add a little bit more in there. Okay, and now I'm going to put my fish in this dish. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my veggies and I'm gonna take my fish and I'm gonna put it in an oven at 450 degrees and we're gonna cook it, oh, between 17 and 18 minutes. But just make sure that your fish temps out at at least 145 degrees before you eat it. Another option you can do with your fish is make a fish sandwich. So I'm going to put some oil over my fish and then I'm just gonna make sure that all the oil gets on both sides of the fish. And then what I did for a topping is I mixed flour, I mixed cornmeal, and I mixed lemon pepper seasoning in there and seasoned salt in there. So I'm just going to dredge the fish in there, make sure it gets all covered, both sides. Now we're gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna get the fish in a pan and we're gonna saute it. Now I'm just gonna add my sunflower oil to my pan and then I am gonna add my fish and you just wanna cook it or saute it until it reaches a temperature for at least 145 degrees, turning once. So we'll let that saute for a little bit. My fish is done sauteing, but while it was sauteing, my baked fish came out and so did the veggies. And don't they absolutely look beautiful? Now what I wanna do is I wanna assemble my fish sandwich. Now, if you've never had these before, they are to die for. They are pretzel hamburger rolls. So what I'm gonna do and again, this is optional. You could put mayonnaise on here if you like. You could leave it plain. I'm going to put some tartar sauce on here just because I absolutely love tartar sauce with my fish. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little lettuce. Okay. 
and we'll add a tomato. And then we're going to add a piece of fish. And there we have our sandwich. I don't normally like to serve coleslaw all the time with fish because it seems like that's all we ever do. So I like to go outside the box. One of the things we have in our deli department at Coburn's is our Texas caviar. Now you can serve this as a side salad and look at the beautiful color that you add to the plate. Or you can just put it in a dish and serve it with chips as a dip. The last recipe is the easiest recipe. It's a no brainer. What I do is that when I'm in a hurry and I don't have a lot of time, I buy fry, fry and Magic. And all I do is put my fish in here in a plastic bag with some Frying Magic, seal it up, and all I'm gonna do is swish it around. Make sure it's all covered. And the flavoring is already in the Frying Magic, so all we're gonna do is saute it and it's ready to go. Now, I've got my final recipe completed, but you know me, I just have to have a little wine with that walleye. So, I want to introduce you to a new wine called 14 Hands Sauvignon Blanc. It's a vibrant wine with the aroma of citrus and passion fruit. Grapefruit and gooseberry flavors highlight the palate. It's wonderful with fresh fish and seafood. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you know what comes up next. If you were here, we'd be sitting out on the deck, we'd be sampling the walleye, we'd be sharing the bottle of wine on this beautiful spring evening. Good luck on the fishing opener, and we'll see you in two weeks. Enjoy. Ooh, that is so good.